Hi. Hello, um, I'm Felipe Matos and I'm an immigrant from Brazil and this is my testimony. I came to the United States when I was 14 years old from Brazil and, uh, and I've been living here since. Unfortunately, I was never able to fix my status. Uh, I'm still undocumented and uh, because of that I couldn't go to college. I had to face a, a whole bunch of struggles but the very fact that I'm queer as well and having to come out as undocumented and then having to come out as queer later on, it was just a, a very difficult path for me. But I was able to find groups uh, that fight for immigrant rights and then also groups that could foster my leadership, uh, such as students working for equal rights. My name is Juan Rodriguez. I'm an immigrant from Colombia. Um, my family had to flee persecution in Colombia and came to the United States seeking political asylum. Um, all of their cases were denied and so really uh, after many deportations in my families and lots of uh, pain that that inflicted on us, um, the only way I was able to stay was my stepmother uh, sponsored me. She's a U.S. citizen from uh, naturalized from Cuba and so um, it's, it's been really difficult uh, for me uh, being in this movement, having received that letter that said welcome to the United States of America and realizing that everybody uh, should uh, have access to that letter, should have access to equal rights in this country, uh, equal protections uh, in their relationships. It's, it's devastating for me that in my relationship with Felipe, regardless of how much we build together, how much we share, how much we love each other, um, I can't do anything to, to help him in his struggle and um, help him be recognized by our society and by all the incredible contributions that he gives. I mean, he's recognized as a national leader and yet uh, at any given moment he can be picked up and taken away from the community and from me and uh, I think that, that would be a loss for all of us and so it's why I continue fighting, it's why we uh, want to um, repeal the, the Defense of Marriage Act and, um, and why we're not going to stop until we have an uh, equal part in, 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 in the say of how policies are implemented in this country.